Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In this video, we are going to start up with one more new series, and this is very very important nowadays. That is UI full stack. It's mainly for web development. UI means user interface, user interface, and the course what we are going to learn, even we call it as full stack web developer. We are going to become what here a full stack web developer, main developer, main developer. So you can go with any name. Like we, the course here totally is full stack web development. When you take this full stack web development, complete web applications we are going to develop here. Like when you go with this full stack web development, we need to take care as a full stack developer. We need to take care of the front end part, the content whatever we display on the browser. We need to take the back end part, the code which runs internally. And we need to even take care of the database part. These three things are very, very important nowadays. So when you are able to manage the front end, back end, and even the database, then you are called as a full stack developer or a full stack web developer. And in this video, we are going to see the introduction to web development, right? And which are the things contains the front end development, the front end part are like the technologies like CSS, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, Bootstrap, jQuery, React.js, Angular. Then the backend part, we can develop this backend part using Node.js, Express.js. We can use this PHP technology. We can go with this AHP technology, Django, Spring Boot, like this. And the database part is like uh, MangoDB. We can use MySQL database, Oracle database, H2 database, Postgre, SQL Server, Sybase. Those are all the database part. Now, let us understand what is this web development. Let us understand this web development first. Introduction to web development. So whenever we go for this web development, here, we are writing some of the terminologies. We are writing some of the important terminologies when you go for this web development. First of all, we should understand what is a web page. What is a web page? The meaning of web page is like a web page is a document, is a document written in hypertext so this hypertext we generally do with the technology html that we can use that we can see using a browser whenever we go for web whenever we go for web the content whatever we are going to see that we we'll see by using what a browser we can even define a web page like web pages include what are the web pages we design web pages include text it can contain text photos videos and links to other pages we can go to other web pages wearing one more important definition website website what is this website is a website is a collection of web pages what makes a website it is a collection of web pages and related content related content that is identified that is identified by a common domain name we have to go with a common domain name domain name is like an address an address for your website and we should go with a common domain name and published we have to publish it if you publish only the website can be visible to other users and published on at least on at least one web server so whenever we want to go with the website we require a server and on that server we are going to publish our website 
and some of the websites are like already many people know this like www.amazon.com www.youtube.com www.icicbank.com www.bookmyshow.com www.makemytrade.com so like that we are having so many websites so in order to go with these websites it's what it's a collection of web pages it's a collection of web pages and we require a server so once we deploy our application on the server once we publish the application on the server then only multiple clients can able to access our application now to develop these websites we have to go with a web application we have to develop a web application and we have to deploy on the server and we are going to give one domain name and that domain name only we call website so first of all we should know what is this web application this is the major thing what we are going to learn we are going to develop the web applications what is a web application is a web application even we can call it as web app is an application is an application program that is stored on a remote server that we have to store it on a remote server and delivered and delivered and delivered over the internet and delivered over the internet if i want to make our application to be used by other users we have to deliver that application using the internet through how we are going to access our application through a browser interface so whenever we want to access a web application what we require we require a browser and those the browser can be on your desktop systems or it can be a mobile app also so using browser only we can access our web application right now so we are going to learn as what the complete ui full stack so when we say ui full stack or the complete full stack web developer complete full stack web developer then this full stack web developer should able to take care of the front end part then we should take care of back end and we should take care of even the database now let us understand what is this front end what is this back end and what is this database what is our major role as a full stack developer let us understand with a sample example. Let me just make you show you a diagram here. What is this full stack web application? So let us understand what is the main role of this full stack web developer? What is the meaning of front end? What is the meaning of back end? And what is the meaning of database? So let me elaborate this using a diagram. Stack web development stack application. What is a full stack web application? Now, so let us go with a simple general example. Like when you take any websites like gmail.com, or if you go with icsa.com or any banking websites, make my trip, book my show, or some cases where we accept the username and password to proceed further with the application. Mainly when you go with Gmail. We accept username and password in order to check our mails. If you go with a banking application in order to check our balance or in order to transfer the money from one account to other account, we have to log in our application, log in the bank account. So let us consider we are having this login. So in this case, we'll accept this username. We are going to accept the username. We are going to accept the password. And we'll be having something like login or sign up. Here we go with the username where the user will type the username, password, and login. 
Now, once we type some user and password, for example, if I go with the user like Raj, Raj, and the password is like password is like Raj123. I'm going with the password like Raj123. Now, once we click on login, once we click on login, what is our major task? We have to check whether this user is present in the table or not. We have to check whether this user is authenticated or not. So where our user details will be present, when we register the user, all our user details are present in a database. All our users are present in a database. Right? We go with a database. In this database, in this database, we'll be having all of our user details. So let us consider in this database, what is the database? It mainly holds the data in the form of tables, in the form of tables. It is going to hold the data in the form of table, where we'll be having our user details over here, where all of our details will be present. So for this user, so we'll be having the name, Name of the user and the password. Name of the user and password. Username, password. Like that, we can go with some more users in the password. So, where it is going to maintain the user details so the data whatever we register that will be present in our database database is mainly to hold the data now once we type the username and password when we click on login there should be some internal logic which is going to connect to our database and checks whether that user is present in your table or not that checking part we do by using what your backend that checking part we do by using what a backend so which technologies we use for backend we may make use of this we may go for this node js express js then we can make use of Spring Boot. We can make use of PHP. We can make use of ASP.NET like this. So these are the backend technologies. So this front end part will connect to this backend, and this backend is going to connect to your database, and it's going to check whether that user is present in your database or not. And if that user is present in the database, that result, whether the data is present in your database or not, that result will come back to backend and backend is going to share the response. So the data which is going from this browser, this we do it on the browser. This is your front end part. This is your front end. Front end means we open this application using a browser. The content, whatever we display on the browser, we call it as present front end. So whatever the request we make, that request will go to the backend. Backend will connect to the database. The database will give the response back to this backend. And the response, the results are going to display onto the browser. Like the user is authenticated, the user is success or welcome, something like that, some messages. So this, the content, whatever we see, on the browser, this we call it as front end. This back end is mainly for your processing, the logic of your application, the business logic of your application. We do it in the back end. And we are going to st store the data permanently in your database. So when you are able to develop all these three things, like front end part, back end part, and the database part, then we call them as a full stack web developer. The role we have to call full stack web developer then if you are able to develop only front end part 
then we call them as UI developers. UI developers, or we can even call front end developers. Front end developers. If we are able to manage only the back end part, then we can call it call them as back end developers. Back end developers, or even we call them as we can call them as Java developers. We can call them as .NET developer or PHP developer like this. Depends on the language what we use. The general term is backend developer. If we are able to manage only the databases, then we can call them as database developer or even we call them as DBA, database administrators. When you are able to play the role of all these three, then you are called as what? Full stack web developer. So the complete thing we call them as what? Complete if you are able to develop, we call them as full stack web developer. Then in our course, we are going to learn the front end technologies. The front end technologies, what we are going to learn in our course is we go with HTML, we will be learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript. TypeScript, Bootstrap, jQuery, React.js, and Angular. So these are the front end technologies. These we call them as front end technologies. And the back end technologies, what we are going to learn in this course, the, the things what we are going to learn is Node.js, Node.js, then Express.js, then PHP. And coming to this Spring Boot, in order to understand Spring Boot, we should be able to know, we should come from Java technology, we should have a background of Java technology in order to understand Spring Boot. Now, this database is in our course, we are going to learn the databases like MangoDB. We'll be going with MySQL and we'll be learning Oracle also. And we're even covering Oracle. So these are the technologies what we are going to learn in our course here related to this full stack web development. Right? So these are very, very important. We are covering most of the topics which are required as a full stack web developer. Right? And in next video, we are going to start off with our first part, the first technology that is HTML. So if you know this HTML, then only we can able to understand CSS, JavaScript like that goes on. Right? So in the next video, I'm going to start off with the technology HTML. ML hypertext markup language. Right? So that's about in this video. Please subscribe, like, and share.